Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com with an update on my Neat Desk document scanner. Since my first video, I've gotten a few emails and comments suggesting that maybe I work for Neat Desk, which obviously is not true. I purchased my Neat Desk just like everybody else. I paid $300 for it on HSN fully expecting to send it back because over the years I had read so many misleading reviews about it. So when I got it, I was surprised how much I liked it and really was almost disgusted at how basically slanderous some of these old reviews are. And that is why I am compelled to set the record straight. So in this video, I'm going to show you the excellent quality of the scans and exactly how easy it is to use and to export any files or any folders to other programs. So let's take a look at this ridiculous statement. People keep repeating that NeatDesk is proprietary. So here we are in NeatDesk and if I want to, I can export this entire folder in many different ways, not just one individual file, which everybody keeps insisting is the only option. I can export the entire folder either as a JPEG or as a PDF, which is a common format that people upload to Evernote cloud service. I can export as a CSV comma separated value file, either just receipts, just contacts, just documents. That's a spreadsheet kind of thing. I can send it to Excel. I can send it to QuickBooks either directly or by IIF, which I'm not sure what that is. Uh, if you have QuickBooks, I'm sure you know what that is. I can send it to Quicken, to Tax Software as a TXF file, to vCard, which is kind of an electronic business card format, to Neat File, I guess if you want to do a fresh install, or just have a backup, and then archive. You want to archive an entire year, and that probably would make search work quicker so you have less documents to search through. So if I wanted to send my entire folder to PDF, let's see, you have selected multiple items PDF. Would you like these combined as a single PDF or create a separate PDF for each item? So I probably would say separate and then I say I want to do that all the time. Then I would make a folder. And if you want to use Dropbox, Evernote, or any other kind of cloud service that you want, if you don't want to pay the $5, not $15, $5 a month for Neat Cloud, I pay $5 a month. Business level is $15 a month. So I want each thing separate. Then I would make a folder, uh, whether it's on an external hard drive or on my hard drive or maybe an SD card, and then you can back it up to that. If you want to back it up to Evernote or Dropbox, what you would do is make this folder on your hard drive and then when you go into whatever your cloud service is if you want automatic backups then you're going to do that from within that service say here is the folder i want to sync same exact thing that all these people are demonstrating with fujitsu snap scan or anything else so i'm not sure why people will not let go of this misinformation it's simply not true let's cancel this i mean i don't know how you can miss it if you've ever looked at a neat desk the Neat Desk has two buttons on it. One says scan, which means scan it in, into the Neat software. The other one says PDF, which means if you push the PDF button, a screen will pop up on your computer that says, where would you like to save this and what do you want to name it? And if you back that stuff up to Evernote or Dropbox or what else do people use? Box, whatever you use, it can go into that folder. And if you have set up automatic syncing with whatever your cloud service is, then it's it's going to be in there as a PDF and you'll do anything you want with it. You can email it, fax it, you can print it, text it, you can back it up to Evernote or anything you want. So this is no different than Fujitsu or anything else. No matter where you save it, storage space costs money. External hard drives cost money, SD cards cost money, Evernote cloud service costs money if you're gonna back up years of documents. Believe me, you're not gonna get that for free. Now, I was going to go into the quality of the scan here, but this video is getting really long and I think I'm going to make a second video about the quality of the scan, which as you can see is very good. And also talking about some of the tools you have for rotating and cropping and lightening, darkening, all that stuff. But that is another bit of misinformation that really bothers me because I feel like it's undeserved. I would agree that I wouldn't use this for a photo scanner. As far as I can tell, it's a document scanner and 
not a photo scanner. Okay, since we're talking about backing up, I want to explain to you that if you don't want to back up your files, then you don't have to do any of these things. You can back up to an external hard drive or some other kind of media. But if you want it online so you can access it by your iPad or your iPhone, or you just want to have a backup away from your computer, I like the Neat Desk cloud service. It's only $5.99 a month. This is another common misconception is that it's $14.99 a month. But the thing I like about this is I can scan all my receipts at home and then while I'm out, I can just pull up my Neat Connect on my iPhone and I can return things while I'm out or I can just make a copy of a receipt up to 45 captures for, per month. That means from your mobile device. You can snap a picture of it, turn it into a document and um, send it up to the cloud 45 times a month. It's not talking about 45 captures from your neat desk machine. It's talking about mobile captures. So I think that's plenty for me. So that's why I'm using this and I'll explain why else. I like that it doesn't bog down my system. That is why I'm using Neat Cloud. I think it's a fair price, it's pretty seamless, and it has all the function. I don't have to pay extra for any of those functions that I like so much about my Neat Desk software. So that is the Neat option, and it is an option. You don't have to pay it. You can back up any way you want, as we just talked about. Here is Dropbox. You get two gigabytes for free if you want. I don't use it much. The only thing I use this for is to make backups of a WordPress website that I have. And within about two months, I maxed out my space and they started asking me for money. So that's $9.99 a month. I had to go in periodically and delete some of those backups. And the same debt thing with Evernote. I have an Evernote account that I've had for years and years. Last time I used it was like 2010, I think. And I have the free service, but there is a limit to how much you, data you can send. And if you're you know, backing up years of receipts, you're gonna reach that limit and you're gonna have to start paying money. I just, I'm happy with the Neat Connect. Both of these, you're gonna download a piece of software to your desktop so that it can automatically sync your data folder. And like here it is with Evernote. This is if you wanna do entire folders at a time and this is what all the people with the Fujitsu are implying can only be done with Fujitsu, like as if Evernote and Fujitsu are exclusively, which they're not. You can back any kind of file up. What they're showing you in all those videos is backing up to PDF and then using Evernote to um, send that up to the Evernote cloud. You can do the exact same thing with your neat desk. So if you're willing to do that, which I'm not willing to do, I didn't like it, you're gonna save this file. I don't wanna do it, but you're gonna save this. Then you're gonna run this little program and you're going to tell it what folder you're saving your neat desk PDFs to. And it's as simple as that. They do cost money. All of them cost money, including the cloud service for Neat. You can find all kinds of free cloud services. Your Neat Desk probably comes with a free three month. Neat Connect might come with longer, but it's totally optional. It's just really if you wanna use that Neat app on your iPad or mobile device, any mobile device or cell phone or whatever, then you're going to wanna to pay this $5.99 a month. And I think it's worthwhile, but you don't have to. You can use your mobile devices with Evernote or Dropbox, but I'm just telling you, eventually they're gonna ask for money too. If you love your neat desk and end up using it for as much as I do, then you're eventually gonna bump your head on that free ceiling, on the ceiling of the free offer, and you're gonna have to start paying them some money. So I just like using neat because it only runs when I open up that neat software Anything that I scan from my mobile device, it'll hold it in the cloud until I run my neat software, which I like because I don't like to have programs that automatically run in the background because a lot of times I'm working on something, a project that is very um, memory intensive. And if suddenly Evernote, Dropbox, SugarSync, Carbonite, antivirus software, when these things kick in automatically to back things up or scan things every 15 minutes, it, it can really disrupt a memory intensive task that I'm working on, especially when I work with video so much. So I like to know exactly when things are kicking in that require a lot of memory. 
And then one thing that may be of interest to you, if you're wondering why you're having problems and I'm not, I wanna show you, I'm running Windows 7 Home. It's a 64 bit and I have 16 gigs of RAM, which is a lot because I do video editing. It needs a lot of RAM. And it's also a pretty good computer, i7 CPU, that's iCore or seven something, but it's a decent computer. But this is my system and Perhaps some of the hardware that I have is helping me have a good experience. I know some people with Windows 8, I've heard them complain to me that they've had problems. I don't know if this information will help you, but it can never hurt to add some more, as much RAM as you can. Surprisingly affordable. I don't think it cost me much more than $100 to max out this RAM from 8 to 16. So it's not as expensive as it used to be. It's super easy to put in yourself. And I, I think maybe Best Buy probably charges 50 bucks a service. They may try to sell you like a new motherboard or something, but if you just tell them to put in as much RAM as they can, um, that might help matters. I don't know. I don't know. You know, that's just a suggestion if you're running into problems or it's bogging down. 16 gig is a lot of RAM, but you want to have at least eight, I would think. If you're trying to get by with four gigs of RAM, that could be part of your problem. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording and see how this comes together. I don't work for or have ever gotten anything free. I've never even gotten so much as an email from the neat company. I just really like their product and I want to see it succeed so that they'll keep supporting it and I can keep using it.